G'day guys, well I hope everyone's had a very Merry Christmas and I hope you're looking forward to the new year. But before we get to the new year, we have an absolute stunner to photograph in our night sky at the moment. And that is C 2021A1 Lennard. And uh, it was discovered by uh, Gregory Leonard, so I hope I uh, pronounced that right. And if you're watching at all, Gregory, um, hopefully I got that right. Now, uh, I'm really excited about this comet because I've wanted to photograph a comet for such a long time. And the last comet I was able to photograph really was Comet Lovejoy. And that was basically when I was just getting started into the world of astrophotography. I had my Nikon D610 uh, at that time with my William Optics GT81 uh, telescope. Um, and a Celestron AVX mount. So as we can see, slight difference to, to back then. But uh, yeah, I cannot wait um, to see what we captured tonight. Now, last night I did actually uh, shoot uh, Leonard very quickly I wasn't too sure if I was able to get it because it is still quite low on the horizon here and with the, uh, the house and the trees and all that starting to get in the way I've had to push the uh, well mount the telescopes back further in the backyard and I've really had to extend the, uh, the mount legs to really you know give us some height to try and combat uh, the house and the trees which it sort of worked and this is the image I captured last night Now, tonight's mission is to try and do something a little bit better than that. That was 10 images stacked at 30 second exposures with the ZWO uh, ASI294 MC um, RGB color camera with the one RASA. I wasn't uh, firing off the second RASA. Tonight I will be firing off the second RASA. Now the reason I didn't do it the other night is because I still had the hydrogen alpha filter um, sitting in there from when I was uh, shooting Project Orion. Now I've uh, swapped it out and I have uh, the uh, Astronomic UV IR L1 cut filter exactly the same as what's uh, on my RGB camera and we're going to be capturing luminosity data at the same time. So I'm going to try and uh, merge the luminosity with the RGB and see what details we can come out with. But not just that, the tail of this comet is beautiful absolutely stunning and in the one frame I took um, you can sort of see I'm not really capturing too much of that tail um, purely because the cameras are rotated um, for my Orion project and any other project going forward and I don't really want to turn the cameras and have to re-rotate everything around again um, just one of the downfalls with the Rasa uh, because you can't put a rotator on the front of them and automatically rotate things to the way you, you want them so um, yeah we're uh, we're gonna be shooting a mosaic and uh, we'll see how many panels I need I'm not too sure it's gonna be a bit of trial and error but damn I'm excited and I cannot wait so we're just gonna wait for the Sun to uh, dip down a little bit more and for this comet to start revealing itself So guys, this will probably have to be one of the most challenging images I've had to uh, capture so far, purely because I couldn't actually set up a mosaic throughout the day ready for this comet. Um, I had to set it up on the go, had to work out which direction my mosaic was heading in, um, and oh, wow, um, it just ate up so much time because I don't have a lot of time um, before the comet sets behind the tree. So, I've managed to get um, four panels in, and it's uh, five lights per panel at 45 second exposures, um, both with the RGB and the um, mono camera. The mono camera was binned at 2x2 two two, um, as well. So, 
let's hope that uh, all this goes together and uh, we end up with some sort of mosaic. Um, <laughs> I've got no idea how this is going to work out, but uh, even if it's failed, I will still show you guys the results. Alright, well, um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget to leave a comment. And if you're new to this channel, please check out some of my others. And a big shout out to my members too. Thank you very much for your support. Alright guys, until next time, take it easy. See you.